Hello everyone, my name is Alvaro Bedoya and I'm a commissioner at the Federal Trade Commission. The FTC is the nation's leading agency enforcing consumer protection and antitrust laws and educating the public and business community of the importance of free and fair markets. Today I want to focus on the need for more competition in agricultural markets and what we at the FTC are trying to do to help. I'll note that I only speak for myself and do not speak on behalf of the whole commission or any other commissioner. It's an honor to be part of the 121st Annual National Farmers Union Convention. This organization predates so many of our most important antitrust laws, including the Clayton and FTC Acts, the Packers and Stockyards Act, the Capra-Volstead Act, Robinson-Patman Act, and the seller Kefauver Act. Through the first part of the 20th century, the American people, with the support of organizations like the National Farmers Union, came together to enact statutes to protect free and fair competition. But over the course of the past 50 years, the promise of those laws, unfortunately, has been eclipsed by corporate concentration and increases in anti-competitive conduct. Too often, it's farmers like you who are the ones who pay the price for that. Last August, I had the opportunity to sit down with a group of farmers in Des Moines. It was about nine or 10 farmers and included the Iowa Farmers Union President, Aaron Lehman. In that meeting, I heard about how the prices of seeds, feed, fertilizer, and farm equipment were going up, and how the revenue from your products was going down. Farmers used to make 40 cents on every dollar spent at the grocery. Now they only make 14. Quote, we have a noose around our necks and we're standing on an ice cube, said one farmer who was there. Another said, it's like being picked apart by a chicken. We spoke about corporate consolidation in agriculture, the right to repair, and the immense power balance between farmers and the corporations they sell to and buy from. The fixes to these systemic problems aren't easy, and they don't happen overnight, but I'm proud to say that the FTC is taking steps in the right direction. In September, the Commission voted unanimously to file a complaint, along with a bipartisan coalition of state attorneys general against Syngenta and Cortiva. The lawsuit alleges the pesticides companies violated the FTC Act by keeping prices high through unfair methods of competition and engaged in conduct in violation of the Sherman and Clayton Acts and state antitrust laws. The FTC has also been very active in the right to repair, filing actions against Weber Grills, Westinghouse, and Harley-Davidson for right to repair violations. The FTC continues to review this problematic conduct across markets. Personally, speaking for myself, I've been speaking publicly about the importance of the rural economy and urging for a reinvigoration of the Robinson-Patman Act and its enforcement. That law, which was effectively abandoned over 20 years ago, is intended to help small businesses compete in the economy by giving them a level playing field. But it also has the potential to bring prices down for rural consumers, especially in the retail food space. I think that strong enforcement of that law can also help you get your products to consumers. With more robust food distribution and retail grocery competition, farmers will have access to more opportunities and flexibility to distribute their products. I want to thank the National Farmers Union for its continued efforts through the Fairness for Farmers program and all of the efforts uh, you make to educate the American people and lawmakers about the problems of concentrated markets. We have a long road ahead of us to bring back fair and competitive markets to agriculture. But with the tireless efforts of organizations like your own, I am confident this is a road we can all travel together. Thank you for inviting me to speak today. I hope you have a great remainder of your conference.